Hello, everyone. Welcome to this very special edition of the Orgs podcast. It's going to be a very happy and very cheerful edition of the podcast. Uh, I'm joined with lots of very happy and relieved people that the, the season is over. I am XL Larkin, head of F1, bottler, and not happy about the football currently. Uh, we've got J. Cole, but he's gone to get his Chinese. We've got Mr. Car Mentalist. Hello, I'm other Serial D2 bottler alongside Larkin. We have got QVR Verstappen. Hello, hello, hello. And we have got Campbell. Hello, hello. Uh, so I've got lined up a, a, a series of topics for us to discuss. The other guys do not know what these topics are. Um, and essentially, we're just going to go through them. And we're basically going to have a little bit of a moan. Uh, I want to start just by going through each of the divisions and getting our sort of general feedback on how that division has been this year. Starting with Division 1, which I think's probably been one of the more uh, calm divisions. Only things I will personally moan about is the fact that when people get promoted into Division 1, they decide to turn up less. Um, and I've also written down on my little document that I want to criticise Cantera, but I also don't because he's Cantera. <laughs> I don't know what you guys' thoughts are. Um, yeah, <laughs> probably has been one of the better ones. When we move on to the rest later on, uh, there's less people that will probably be annoyed at with how the season's been, but not to me there wasn't any. Yeah, no, uh, Division 1 has been fairly easy to manage in a way. Um, most of the people turn up, most of them have good racecraft, apart from a few, uh, including myself. Um, <laughs> pretty vocal. Yeah, uh, do apologize. Um, but yeah, no, overall, uh, all good. Uh, towards the end, a few reserves lacking um, on letting people know whether they can race or not. So that was a bit disappointing to see. But um, yeah, overall, pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, just looking, I think obviously you guys are the Yorks for the division, so I don't see all of the insight for that. But just from an outsider's perspective, it definitely was the probably the most, well, actually not the most tame, I would say. I think that goes to D3, I would say, this season. But it's been fairly tame this season in terms of what's been going on uh, and stuff like that. Um, there's many a thing I would like to co I would like to comment on uh, on D1, but I don't know if people are going to get annoyed with me um, do if I do. It. <laughs> do it. Do it. Um, I think one of the common themes that I think a lot of people picked up on this season potentially was the um, the odd predictions we would often get in a D1 stream. I think everybody thought they were quite funny at some point, but they were um, fun. So I think it's fair to say that Connor Jensen and Joel Bream were horribly underperformed by the, the standards that we were all expecting <laughs> going into, this, into every race. So yeah, that was definitely fun to tune into every week to see I guess who out of the three was going to be predicted the race winner that week, um, and none of them ever really ever did win anything. So, so that was that was fun. But yeah, I guess I think it's going to be a common theme as well talking about reserves this season. But Jesus, yeah, it definitely wasn't fun. Definitely wasn't fun. On the uh, like piggybacking on the uh, predictions thing, it, it won't be an issue next season because according to Montana, he's going to be back on the grid again. <clears throat> Let's see about that. Yeah. <laughs> nice and boring, right? I'm moving from the front every race, winning everything. Nice that's, and competitive. That's exactly what we'd want to see in our D1, isn't it? Exactly. It depends on whether we allow it in our D1, though. That's the question. I think that's the question that everybody wants to know. Who doesn't want to see Montana leave from the front is the question. <laughs> I'm sure his Swiss bank account can contribute something nice to the lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard the, the taxes are pretty good over there, so uh, you can spare some money, I think. Um, right, let's move on to a slightly different division, I think, in terms of what's going to be said, Division 2. Um, I, I'll go first, because I know that Aiden's going to need probably a, a half an hour slot for this. Um <laughs> Why Why would you sign up for a league and then not turn up for a single race? <laughs> I don't even need to say his name. Like, 90% of people listening probably aren't even aware this guy's in the league. <laughs> but not a single race. 
To be no. honest, I think he might not be aware himself that he's in the league. Yeah, he probably doesn't realise he's in the league anymore. I mean, I made a comment on not. it in the in the reserve order chat, and he laughed at my own dig at him, and then said he couldn't raise. <laughs> so I, 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 I think that kind of that kind of sums that one up. But oh god, there. Yeah, I'll let you guys go on because, like you say, I'm gonna. No, no, no. That's, that's your that's your time to shine, Eden. <laughs> we, we I'll let you guys you go first because no, I'll let you guys go first because otherwise I'm gonna be talking for forever. But um, yeah, I'll leave the best to last in that one because I will not be holding back on T2 because it has been absolutely shocking on all fronts this entire season. Uh, what else have I said about D2? Reserves never turn up. Yeah, sort your lives out. Uh, and then there's people who turned up at the start of the season, realised that their pace was terrible on the game, and then even if they were available to race, were just like on the day of the race, like, ah, oh, no, I've done a couple of practice sessions. I'm three seconds slower than Gary. I'm not going to bother racing anymore. You know what, take my seat away, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then they'll probably moan at us next season when they don't get a seat. But mm. that's going to be fun for us. Uh, and then my only other thing to complain about is the people that complained at Nathan JB all season when he's attended every race. And then a lot of the people that have complained about him and his driving are also the people that will then be in the Discord like, oh yeah, I've not bothered stewarding anything, uh, stewarding anything all season, as if that's going to make driving standards better. I just, yep. Yeah, it annoys me. But that's me done. Someone else can moan. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, generally spoken, the driving standards overall weren't the best in Division 2. Uh, obviously, I'm a commentator, so I've, I've had a bit more of a view of that. And uh, I, I question myself every time I, I see someone going for a move three turns back and wondering why they're spinning. So uh, maybe something that I need to work on. And then obviously the, the pointless argumentation in the chat afterwards is just inexplicable because it, it's it's so much easier to just maybe have an, like obviously having a chat about it is, is fine and all, as long as it's respectful. And otherwise, just go to the stewards for it. Honestly, what's the point going for such an argumentation? I don't see it. But yeah, um, that that's my general point, to be honest, that I think needs to be mentioned. Yeah, it's just a bit crazy. The people, they, they argue so much and then make no fuss about it with, with the stewards, as you say. It's like, you want people to improve, but we we'll, won't we'll take it to them to try and help them make or force them to improve if they get punished. But looking at the standings on attendance, it's an ISO of seeing all the all the DNS. <laughs> it's everywhere. Like you've got people that will be so high up on the standings but haven't attended anywhere because of the the state that people lower down as well. <laughs> so I can only manage just been a pain for Ed in this season to try and put together full grants week in, week out. Yeah. Funny. Uh, Sorry, oh, I was ahead. gonna say go I think ahead. I think there's only two people in the whole division that didn't DNF a race. And uh, th- me and you. That is the correct. Yeah, that is correct. We are the only two that did not DNF an entire race this this entire season. I'd also like to point out MCR didn't either. He scored in every single race. Just want to put it out there. Just talking about Division Two. Come on. Well, you know, I wasn't here. Okay, so yeah, Division Two. Fine. That's that's okay. That's not our fault. Yeah. Oh God. I guess it's my time to shine. Um, I did. I did think about like just writing down everybody's name and saying everything bad about them this entire season because I could probably say something bad about everybody, including myself, yeah. um, for this season. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, What's I would be season? happy to do it. It's I'd in the season, it, man. Come on, we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of us have any problem with you doing that. Yeah, just that run is run very down fair. Standings, I could do. I could run down the standings. Um, I guess, like, I think the first thing to start off with was, for me, going into this season, for a start, I was actually quite excited. I think going into the season, we didn't really know who was going to be the front runners. I think, for Division 2 this season. So on the face of it, Division 2 was going to be quite interesting. Maybe not as fast or as competitive as previous seasons, but at least really interesting. And it turned out to be um, horrible every second of it. (laughs) It was just... Yeah, really difficult to manage the whole way through. I had my own moments of um, 
uh, a, a bit of frustration, as some people may have seen. Um, I, I was get, I did get very frustrated towards the end of the season trying to manage this division because so many people didn't want to turn up, and then people were doing repeat offences in stewarding and wondering why they were getting punished. I was getting DMs from people constantly telling me that they wanted to move divisions when that's not how this season works. It was it's it was just up and down and all over the place. I mean, to sum it up. We have had well in the division three stat in the division two standing sheets. There are thirty four people in the division two standing sheets. I think that kind of sums up in a tw- in a in a grid with only twenty cars on it. How have we got thirty four people in a standing sheet? Is is just absolutely crazy. We've had so many people not start an entire race, like not starting races, and then like demanding a seat at the end of the season when there's a free spot, and then wondering why they're not getting the seat. Um, yeah, God, it's, yeah, I won't even, I, oh, <laughs> there's so, <laughs> so much I could say. And there are so many people as well. I think the one thing that's really disappointing for me this season, there's so many people that I expected better of that have just honestly been the worst. Like there's people like, well, like I love him to bits, but Brendan is a perfect example. He started off the season well and then jumped into reserve order the second he wasn't feeling all that competitive and then he disappeared from the season altogether after that uh i was going to say nolan but he obviously has work so he has his own problems so that one's not too much of a worry but car and rob came into the season dnf two races dns the next nine and then never turned <laughs> up again um we had Joom who did the first three races and then didn't turn up again at all for the rest of the season Hardy barely turned up for the season. Calvin's barely turned up for the season, even though we told him he was a reserve at the start of the season. We told him he'd only get a full-time seat if he attended more, and he's repeated exactly what he did last season. Prime disappeared from the server without telling anybody. There were so, so, so many people that have just really, really disappointed me this season that I expected better of as well. Like, I, I mean, a good example of someone who had a horrible second half of the season but still didn't give up his chicken i think he he himself admitted that he has completely fallen out of love with this game and he's hated this game but he still attended every single race which hats off to him he is a star for doing that i think he's potentially the only one apart from you larkin that did that this season that attended every race which is amazing really really amazing of him um and there's obviously people that have just joined the league that have had a really good impression sully's joined and he's had a really good season as well even though he's not attended all that often but seeb as well he turned up seven rounds from the end i think and he's attended every single race since so there's some positives in there there's some people in there that who i really appreciate in this division two season that have made it somewhat okay like i can i can rely on those people to turn up every week but yeah the majority of people have just been diabolical absolutely diabolical and shout out to gary as well who's had who bottled a championship run again um just like to say i'd like to say that i'd like to get one last dig in for gary this season (laughs) so i guess that's potentially my rant over um but yeah it's just been absolutely especially coming off the back of such a great d3 season last season that i was able to manage D3 last season, I still think, was the best division. And then coming into this one, and it's easily been the worst, is, yeah, I, I've got, I got the, the crap end of the stick with that one. <laughs> I was going to say, like, throwing you in, like, different dynamics with that, you know, going from one of the better ones to uh, having, like, one of the worst ones overall. But, yeah, no, I, I fully agree. Like, since I came into D2, it's, it's, it's not been too pleasant, I will admit. Um, I, I, was, I was definitely a lot, it was definitely a lot better down in Division Three, like even from the, since the beginning of the season. Uh, again, we'll probably talk about that a little bit later on. But attendance, once again, it it's always seems to be that problem. I always would just see on the day or the day before, just constantly a lot from D two as well, even from the reserves. They would say yes that they can race, and then all of a sudden. They've had to go to a wedding or a funeral, or for some reason, their nans decided to go jump out of an aeroplane to go skydive, uh, and they want to go and watch that. So they're all having to go and uh, go and watch that, uh, just all of a sudden, uh, and then it kind of leaves us short, especially Canada. Uh, again, I, I know I'm also a culprit of that, but I did let them know in, uh, in due course. But um, yeah, even at that point, it's like, it, it's still the case that everyone was just saying that a lot later than the uh, like when we tell them not not when we tell them that sounds a bit harsh but when we 
have like a, a rule in place to let us know at least maybe 24 hours before so that we can get that sorted out for them. Otherwise, it's just it's unfair on the other guys that are waiting to race. Again, and as I said, I know the reserves have done the same thing, but it's it, it's, it's a constant factor, not just through Division 2, but for all the divisions. But I seem to think D Division 2 and Division 4 might be the worst for that kind of thing. Can we use that as a segue to get you on to Division 3 and all the fun you've had <laughs> dealing with uh, FRT ROM oh. in, in and out every week? Here we go. Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I will start off positive. I will say the guys that have been there since the start, you know, Rick, Tote, Luke, RJ, Brent, Rex, Darry, Cam K, all have been absolute gems to uh, gems for me i, I will say that they're, i don't really think that they've done anything annoying for me I, as i said I, I will go ahead and say that tim Matz as well uh, obviously i've been on the last day but he didn't know until literally last minute uh yeah i said it, a, a lot of the guys in division three and i said it in the chat to them as well it's been very nice to at least have them not be bricks i guess but at the same time uh, again, I said this in the D3 chat. There was definitely a few bad eggs in there. Uh, for some reason, FR Team Rom decided he wanted to join and didn't want to join and wanted to join and didn't want to join and wanted to join and didn't want to join and just fucked off. So that's one guy gone. Uh, Perfect Pond, you raced two races. One, you didn't get any points. The second, you DNF'd and then you fucked off. Farrell Fury was even worse and done one race and then thought, nah, can't be asked. I'd rather go out shagging birds in Dublin. So he fucked off. Reds, I don't know what the hell you went off and done, but you decided to, you know, I gave you a full-time seat at the beginning of the season because of a couple of people moving up. You decided you wanted to go round at your mate's house to go and bum him and play F1 at the same time, and you still didn't decide to show up half of the time. So you're gone. Uh, Timpie, again, it's a bit of a mix. You do let me know, but at the same time, I don't know what you're doing because it's just like you, you turn up for three races and just didn't race the last four. You raced a lot. It was the last seven se uh, seven races, sorry. But what, like, I, I I mean, at least he let me know. So I'll, I'll give him maybe the benefit of the doubt. Caesar, you're moving house. You're probably moving across country. So uh, I that's probably the only exception I get. Noah J, I don't know what the fuck you're doing here, lad. You're gone. Um... <laughs> Passe, I, I mean, uh, Passe let us know midway through he's got exams, so that I don't really care that much about. He did come back, so that's fair enough. Uh, hopefully the Frenchie uh, with the absolute bank will be, uh, hopefully, to stay for a bit longer. Um, I'm literally going through the whole grid. I don't really care. Marty, what are you doing half the time? I, I've seen you qualify at the top, and then you've just gone backwards, and I, that's just not on track. Um, Parrot... You joined midway through, so I can't really say too much about you. But at the same time, try and keep it on track. Uh, J. Luke, again, you're also like Marty. You've just started from the front and gone backwards. Uh, probably a screw loose somewhere is that. Um, <laughs> give you our chill. Uh, it's chill. Uh, I, I can say anything about chill. He doesn't really care. But at the same time, I can't really say anything about him because he, he he turned up pretty much nearly. Oh, I was about to say nearly all the races. He missed five of them. But at the same time, when he did race, he was there or thereabouts. Charlie, again, another one. I, in fact, Charlie, I will say, is actually a very good uh, one that did join late on in the season. So I'm happy he did miss a race. that he did. Yep, yeah, yep, exactly. Exactly. Um, it, it was a bit of a hit or miss for him in each of the races. But at the same time, you know, he turned up every race. Miami, a good mate. But at the same time, lad, don't sign off again, please. Uh, Maverick, again, I... I <sighs> What what have you done when you joined QVR? Like, ever since you've joined QVR, it's gone downhill for him. And I don't know why, because I would have thought that would have helped boost him. It was better when he was out of a team. Uh, Tim Matz, again, I know you wanted your one shithouse race. It didn't happen. Sorry about that. Why try why? I, again, I know you try to play a fiddle with your teammate, but at the same time, he's your brother. You don't want to be fiddling you with your teammate. Uh, Mark, your <laughs> shit. Five points above me. Come on, man. I raced four races, and I DNF'd in one of them. Uh, Darry, uh, again, for the last three races, he DNF'd. Considering that you was in a constructor fight, and you almost got beaten by four different people in the Aston Martins, where two only turned up for approximately seven races. Uh, it's a bit embarrassing. Uh, Bunty... You just love to call shit in the chat. Fair enough. Uh, Rex. Uh, I don't know what to say about Rex, to be honest. Sort your connection out, maybe. I don't know. Um, Brent. 
to sort your bottle out. You, you, you're, you're constantly doing that. You're pretty much, I would say, level on pace with me, maybe even a little bit quicker than me, and you were still losing when I was in that division. So sort your life out. Uh, RJ, same thing. You need to sort your life out for sure. Biggest, I uh, definitely said the biggest spot in the division. Uh, Luke, again, I can't really say anything bad about Luke. Um, he tried to play it as much as he can. That last race, he definitely bottled it. So I guess I'll just say that, you big bottler. Uh, Tope and Rick, again, the two championship protagonists. Again, I can't really say anything bad about them. Um, both with free license points, though. Sort your lives out. That's <laughs> about it, really. You missed someone important. Oh, Aiden and Jess what done a very, a very good job. But... Um, yeah, and uh, FRT ROM. Look at, look at them, the, the, the very bottom of the sheet. Yeah, that is yeah, a very good very point. Uh, Knight, uh, I just want to say, Knight, you own ISRL. Just to start the software. Right? Oh, okay. Well, you did. Uh, well, there's probably a reason for that. You did own ISRL. Uh, <laughs> and for some reason, you was trying to control what was going on within LOE. You know, I understood a few of your points of what you were saying. I couldn't give a toss. And you're gone for a reason, <laughs> lad. So. Again, if you're watching this podcast for whatever reason, sort your shit out, mate, because you're you're you've definitely got a screw loose somewhere in there. And again, Rom, please never come back. I beg of you, just never come back. I went soft. Wow, I went really soft yeah. on D two. Bloody <laughs> hell! Oh, you want to go back, back so you can go. Like, yeah, we can go back through. And you can go through the grid if you want. I did. I did actually forget to call out. Um, our attendance in D two has been so bad this season that even our commentator's leaving at the end of the season, so he can do one. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing as well, really quickly for D three. I just want to say, I know there's only about thirty names. That I say only. There's thirty names on this sheet. I've probably had to replace about ten of them with just different people because I didn't know how to actually move them to the bottom so again attendance was absolutely diabolical which i I'll probably say is one of the only worst things about division three but at the same time you know uh I, I, despite all of the shit i've just said uh it's been a bit of an enjoyable one for d3 uh hopefully i am uh coordinator for d3 again next season i don't know what what's gonna happen but um yeah i mean a, a lot of those guys were fine i said a few bad eggs and you know Sort your Saturdays out. If you're racing, you're racing. If you're not, fuck off. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. I think I, I feel think like someone's going to have to censor that quite badly. <laughs> <laughs> I think YouTube might take our channel down with the amount that happened. Yeah. Bloody hell. I feel like Division Four are going to get off quite lightly because because Jordan isn't here. Um, yeah. All, yeah. All I'll say is that unless you want me to do it as well. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can go in after me. I'll, I'll start things off quite lightly and say that so many dutch people have joined division four halfway through the season that i actually don't know who half of them are anymore and they never turn <laughs> up it's always you end up with like 90 percent of them not turning up each week and it's like they go on a little rotation of which one bothers to actually race and crash each week do you think it's then like a rotation of like two or three guys on different accounts that just race it, it could well be um then there's that guy that joined let us know, like the first week he was racing, he posted in non-attendance on the day of the race. Um, and then I kicked him out of the server because he was like, oh, I don't see what the problem is that is. Uh, he then slid into the Twitter DMs being like, oh yeah, I'm really sorry, it won't happen again, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we got him back in and his attendance since then has been zero out of four. So I'm <laughs> glad we got him back into the league. Ooh. I think one uh... thing to note for the I was gonna say one thing to note for the D four standings, which I find so funny. Including reserves, only sixteen people that started the season made it to the end of the season, which I find wild. And that includes people that started the season as reserves, which is <laughs> what is the turnaround in this like in this season in it's, these seasons? It's always so many four. people. Yeah, it's, it's like it's... a cluster version. But it feels like the curse is spread out. I feel like the Division <laughs> 4 curse has just spread across the whole league at this point. It's oh, just don't come here, it's please. wild. Yeah, at least do one. <laughs> COVID, but LOE version of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. I don't know if you guys got anything to, to moan about with Division 4. I don't matter. Please oh, stop I do. talking Dutch in the chat. Oh, yeah. Please keep it to English. <laughs> um, I've got one. Um, Division 4, uh, please, I beg, stop with the erroneous and stupid stewards reports. They are not... I... Oh, God, being a steward this season has been... Oh, my... Oof. 
It's been tough. It's been really tough for this season. Are because people have to know you're a Stuart? I was about to say, Stuart, I mean, I mean I've, told, I've told everybody <laughs> pretty much at this point. I'll go for it. I'll go for it. I've told everybody it's pretty much at this point. But I have to get this. I have to say it because being a Stuart this season, especially for D4, has been so painful this season. We've had so many reports that have come in. Well, half the things that do happen that are awful when race ending for people don't get reported. And then the things that do get reported are so ridiculous. Like somebody taking out the pit lane speed limiter board on the way in at the pit lane at Canada was reported. I honestly, yeah, it's been it's been so difficult being a steward, being a steward this season, especially for, uh, for D4. And Flip, if you're listening to this, stop. Just stop. Just stop <laughs> reporting things at this point. Please stop. I beg. It's, it's painful. It's really painful. It's almost, as bad as, it's almost as bad as Larkin reporting Timon for blocking him in qualifying in Brazil. <laughs> I know. That was, yeah, that was a fun one. <laughs> See, that explains why it was no further action, seeing as one of the other title contenders was a steward. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure every other steward agreed that he deserved a penalty for that. <laughs> See, I have too much power, you know. It's, that's, yeah. Anyone else want to complain about anything for D4? Um, they're all just a bunch of um, quality merchants. That's, that's, all, that's all there is to it. Yeah, there's a lot of DNS. <laughs> a lot of oh, DNS. Yeah. Right, our champion DNF'd three times and still won, and didn't race one of them. <laughs> like Pat's the Japs are like in the just... final race, like because I, I got to do division uh, D four for the final race, right? And I, I, I Resify bottled, Pat's had bottled, Valter wasn't there. MCR was probably the only one in that top four that didn't actually bottle. Lick spun as well. Now, if you literally just keep it on track, if you do what MCR does, he finished fourth in the division and he's probably not even in the top 10 quickest. <laughs> yeah, it says a lot about a division when MCR's in the uh, in the top four. He finished on the podium I love the guy, twice. The, yeah. <laughs> you finished on the podium twice the entire season. That That is wild. I mean, I say that, but D2 was pretty much the same for everybody, but... Yeah, that, yeah, that is absolutely crazy. Twice, then you've got Steban in 7th, who won three races in front of the podium at all time. See? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Three races in all podium, finished 7th. But... You've got Mr. Walter 3rd in the championship, and he DNS six races this season, only attended it 11 times, and he's 3rd in the standings. That, uh, that IRT Jelly guy in 13th, isn't he from the power rankings, like one of the best oh, in the whole league? He is, yeah, he yes. He's a qualifying oh, front, like, yes. and then... Yeah, just completely bottles and bakes out in the race. It happened yesterday as well. Like, I think he qualified third in D4, which would have put him, like, seventh in D2, I think it was, for his qualifying time. And he, he DNF'd, like, I think it was on the first lap. Like, the... brother, come on. Please. There's so, many, there's so much potential in that division, and they just can't keep it on track. And I will say this as well, Resify is one of them. Like, he's DNF three times. I know after Patsy Japs had crashed yesterday is when he spun, and I think he probably didn't really care that much, but at the same time, if Patsy Japs was still in that race, then he could have... Patsy Japs could have easily won that championship if he had, again, didn't spin. So everyone just loves to go for a little bit of a pirouette around this, around every single track possible, or just not decide to show up. And then, um, yeah, it kind of just throws it all out of war. It makes it a bit interesting for us, but at the same... Well, for everybody else, but for us, it's a pain in the ass. Sort your lives out. Did Melty win yesterday? He did, did that, yeah. yeah. He did. <laughs> what song was that? <laughs> that, was that was the race. <laughs> I think you'll find Melty is a very established driver in other parts of LOE. Yeah. I think it's, it's not a shock, clearly. It's been coming for a long time. <laughs> The second LOE win, the first obviously being in GT7 as well. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Not controversial at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, right. Uh, D5. Again, um, actually quite nice. They're all, like, they all turn up a, a fair amount. A couple of them have dipped mid season. Um, I don't really know what to say for them. Again, there was that. American drill, drink, drill, drink alchemy guy who turned up, bought the merch, and then didn't show up once. Thanks for giving us your money, lad. Well, I mean, we we don't get the money; it all goes to car cannon, doesn't it? Good point. Oh, and Joseph oh. as well. Yeah, Joseph. Oh. Yeah. He can, <laughs> yeah. 
That man <laughs> tried to beef Killer Blue in the in the number ten chat. That's still one of the funniest moments of the season. I'll keep it by that. <laughs> I never thought I would see beef yeah. between a Division One and a Division Five driver about attendance. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Well, I've beef Jeff about it. Don't worry. <laughs> so, now Jeff yeah. thumbs up. He just doesn't see the end of the race. Point, he always just all, he sorry, always all strats and then just tries and says that he always gets um, tagged by everybody else instead of trying to qualify high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think you. Sorry, I was going to say, any you got anything to say about D five before I move on to my specific list? I was going to talk about. I was going to say for D five, I think more often than not, D five is always the butt of the joke. I feel like sometimes with the or the lowest division, if that's if we haven't mm. had five divisions in the past, it's always been usually the butt of the joke, but. We can't give them that title this season. They've actually been... It's been a fairly nice division. We've had moments in the season that have definitely stood out as interesting. But on the whole, D5 has probably been one of the most subdued and, and kind divisions this season, which is wild and bizarre. But it's it's really, really nice to see um, at least one of the divisions get on fairly well, even if people are struggling to finish races on the on the constant but yeah I, I think at least that's that's really really nice to see that there is at least one of the divisions that made it through the season without completely ripping each other's heads off and and killing our enthusiasm for the entire season um and yeah but apart, apart from that just a lot of bottlers um i think energetics is the perfect example of someone who has oh don't potential. you worry i was literally about to say has, the same thing yeah but has carry on. amazing potential, but my oh my, can he not deal with any sort of pressure whatsoever? So please, Energetic, sort it out because you've got a lot of speed. You could be really, really fast. You've got a lot of potential, but it, it, it's it's painful to watch sometimes. The fact that you ended up fourth in the D5 standings is wild, considering I think you'd probably say for the majority of the season, he's probably looked the fastest up until maybe the very late end of the season when Major moved to XL, which is wild usually when people move to excel they get worse but this major got better <laughs> the excel effects what can we say um yeah i i did also just want to call out energetics hilka come on man you we've raced literally on the same game you me and larkin from 2017 to now what the hell have you done to <laughs> like again this is I'll, I'll I'll take you I'll take your boys back a little bit and Larkin will remember this as well. So AR F1 2018, right? Uh, me and him, both as teammates, uh, against Larkin and uh, Harrenwag. Again, I don't know where the banana's gone off to, um, but I'm sure the Greek he's probably going to come back at some point. Um, but energetics, right? I don't understand what the drop off was from him to from from us from me and Larkin and even Adri as well. But again. We won't, need, we won't need to speak about Adri. I'm sure he'll probably find us at some point. Uh, but Energetics, again, like I say, he's... I, I don't know what has gone on with Energetics since he just... Well, since we he, we just stopped talking to him. But he seems to have gotten a lot worse. And I don't understand how he's gone from, you know, being a reasonably quick driver to the point where he's now... Um, I, I mean, he's again. I don't want to say, oh, he's in the bottom division. He's slow because it's not the case. He's just turned shit. <laughs> That's like I, I, I can't really say anything else other than that. And Hilcott, I know you are. I know you do love to have a little listen on these. So, what I, I, I want to ask you: What the hell has happened since F1 2018 to now? What? Why? What's gone on? It's because you got married. <laughs> I, I, why? Like, I've got no, I've got enough. I don't know what's gone on with him. I would have thought he'd be in Division Two with us, but no, he's struggling to even try and win the championship in the bottom division. Jack's on one tonight. <laughs> he's feeling it tonight, <laughs> mate. I've been looking forward to this for a few weeks now. I told you, I ain't getting everything out of this. Uh, yeah, nicely done. <laughs> um, so my uh, my next thing I've got on my list of things to talk about. I'm not going to give my opinion because yeah, I know it's going to be met with a collective sigh. Probably. What are our thoughts on HSR as a racing league? Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They make quality oh. TikToks. I'll keep it at that. Uh, <laughs> the, the the Dutch league that 
has had such an effect on us that we have genuinely turned down people from joining LOE. Cause the way, I mean, the way it works is people will DM on Twitter. I'll say, what other leagues and divisions do you race in? They'll tell me, I'll go, or someone else will go and look for a couple of streams, work out their pace, and we'll place them. But now when people say that they race in HSR, I give them a copied and pasted response of, oh, I'm sorry, you won't be able to join the league at this time because they are that bad at attending races that we just won't let any of them join anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think whenever someone mentions HSR, when we're all discussing in the organizers chat, if there's someone that wants to come in and someone mentions HSR, I think it just sets off like a trigger in all of our brains and it's an immediate <laughs> shutdown. Um, and I, I hope that there's a function on, on Google Sheets where you can put in trigger words. So the second that somebody puts HSR in other leagues or something that they've attended, it just shuts down their laptop or something like that or just kills their phone. I, I mean, that would be lovely because yeah lord above they've it's not even like there's been one that's been a standout from the rest of the pack they've all been really bad which is wild and i'm uh, sorry to hsr or any of the people that that manage it that if they're listening to this how on earth is your league still running with these people i i i couldn't i can't fathom it (laughs) (laughs) uh okay next up is the topic of exams as an excuse for dropping oh, out of the league or not oh, racing. No. Oh my god, right, okay, this is a direct at to Passe. Hi Passe, I know you're listening to this, how are you doing mate? Yeah, really good, thank you. Can you buy me a yacht? That'd be very nice. Um, I can't understand how bad people's time management are that they can't take an hour on a Saturday evening to do a race because of their exams. That, to me, what are you doing for the rest of the week? what is happening in the rest of the do you fall asleep at five in the afternoon like i'm completely baffled as to to where the rest of their time is going and what annoys me the most is that every time i would see passe not on formula one because he's gone off to do his exams he's on bloody minecraft or something else or he's off (laughs) djing in some crazy bar in monaco because he's minted or something like that he's got all the time in the world for that but not the time in the world for do an hour and a half on a saturday evening for a league race (laughs) And then the second his exams are over, all is back to normal when he's got all of this free time, which doesn't make any sense. Also, you are not studying to be like the representative of France in the UN. That It's, it's your GCSEs. Calm down. Like, they're, they're not that. You don't have to be spending eight hours a day every day revising on something. It's, it's oh, God. It's, yeah, that excuse to me has never and will never, ever make sense to me. I was going to say, I, I don't understand why people are advising for an exam on a Saturday night. I would have thought you'd <laughs> either be doing something, even if you're not racing and you're doing something better than that. What like You can't exactly use, I'm revising for an exam, unless you have it on the Monday, maybe. It's the only exception I could understand which a lot of people are probably going to start using that next season now, so I apologise, boys. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I get this, like... <sighs> I, I don't understand why you'd use an exam as an excuse. Again, I, I don't know if it's on a Monday. Because a Saturday is literally a free day on a weekend. A Sunday, you've got, you got plenty of time to, you know, study for that, you know. Uh, usually on a Saturday and a Sunday. Saturday is usually the day that you just chill out. You do absolutely nothing or just do whatever the hell you want. Obviously, permitted you're allowed to. But... On the Sunday is where you're not, uh, where, where it's like you're sort of chilled down and when you're starting to try and get ready for whatever it is that you're going on on the Monday or coming throughout the following week. Like Aiden said, sort your time out. If you can't do an hour and a half on a Saturday night, again, if you're going out, fair enough. You don't have to join the league. It's, it's entirely up to you. Again, I'll probably stop uh, starting to get a lot less signups going on, but I'm just saying how it is. If you're Going out on a Saturday night, a lot of the time, Ben and Calvin, I'm looking at you two, but Ben, you're a little bit better than that. Um, but yeah, if you're going out a lot on a Saturday, there's no point in joining or at least sign up as a reserve and tell us that you're not going to be doing that many races at least. So then we can still go whether you're going to actually join the league or not. And it just saves wasting our time if we think that you're actually going to be racing or not. It's just, again, exams still the same thing like the same thing applies if you know you've got exams coming up 
why try and bother signing up if you're going to do study on a Saturday? Let's be honest. 90% of people that are saying that, it's complete bullshit. I know they just don't want to race on a particular day. They're just using an exam as an excuse because they know they've probably got one coming up in about a month's time. And they think that the best way to try and give that excuse, oh, I have an exam. So, you know what? I've got that in about a month's time. I'll just use that as an excuse. They'll be fine with that. Again, I'm pretty sure 90% of the league or throughout the entirety of the seven seasons that we've done, I'm pretty sure 90% of those excuses have been complete bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree. And a bit of life advice from some old gits like myself and Jack and, uh, Jack and Harry in here, not you, because he's obviously an infant, but a bit of life <laughs> advice. If he, it... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, he's still learning how to walk. Um, if you... You, it is not healthy to be revising that much on a Saturday. That is not a healthy thing to be doing. That is your, like Jack says, it's your free time. Use your free time. You don't need to be revising all the bloody time for your exams like, like that because you don't take the information in anyway. So give yourself a break and use this as your break. Use this as something to do other than your exam, not as an excuse to to cut it off because of your exams. That, yeah, it's it's just really really frustrating. Um, and like you say, if you know your exams are coming up, why are you signing up as a full-time driver? You know when your exams are coming up two years before you do them. So why are you signing up in that case if, if you think you're going to be doing that? But either way, it's not healthy to be revising that much for your exams. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. But I hope to God in future we don't see that excuse ever used again. I think if I ever asked one of my students if they'd been revising on Saturday night, they'd probably just laugh in my face. Mm -hmm. I forget. Not... Yeah, you're a teacher, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm, yeah, and I'm, I'm still here. I'm here every Saturday. I can make time, so so can you lot. Um, anyway, nice little segue on. I'm going to go to each of you individually, uh, starting with you, Jack. I want to know what your favourite excuse is for people not attending. I've, I've I've still got to go with what Red said to me, the fact that he was round his friend's house because he forgot that there was a race and that he wanted to try and download F1 on his uh, mate's PS, but it would take him a lot longer to try and get it done. I think that was probably one of the best excuses I've heard in a long, long while. The fact that he went round his mate's house because he forgot there was a race, tried to download F1 and didn't get it done in time. <laughs> like, for me, that, that that is definitely up there as like, it, it's a bit of a boring excuse, but at the same time, it's... It's still one of the funniest ones to this day for me because it was just, it was just out of the blue. Like when we was asking him to join, he just, he just came out with that and it was like, what, 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 what do we do now then? <laughs> nice, Aiden. Um, I think my favourite one for me that I thought was really funny was from D three was uh, from Parrot, the man himself, who said that he couldn't attend the D three race because. He had a mate who was racing in another league race and he wanted to engineer for him, uh, um, which I find wild. Um, yeah, I think the concept of an engineer in the first place is bizarre. Like, what are they going to tell you that you don't already know about your own race? Like, come on, it's not that hard to, to keep up with what's going on. And it's crucial to note that that was stated an hour and a half before our race started, which is <laughs> just comic. But yeah, that's that's my favorite excuse. Like... You being paid? I mean, if you're being paid, go for it, I guess. But, like, come on. <laughs> uh, Verstappen? Yeah, I've got a quite... It's not that wild, but it's still quite funny. Um, I think it was Storm a couple of weeks ago. And he said his tattoo would take longer than expected. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing at that point. Uh, go to a different place, get your tattoo elsewhere, because that is terrible time management. How big was the tattoo? That's what I don't know. How long was well, he there for? <laughs> it's been a good couple of hours. Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's the type to listen to uh to the podcast. But if he is, then can you send us a picture in one of the chats, please? <laughs> Depending on where it is, of course. Hmm. <laughs> uh, and Lewis. Is not here, I don't think. Is he not? <laughs> no, he's dipped. He's oh. dipped. He's had enough. He's had enough for this Jesus. season already. Uh, See, there you go. My... Poor attendance. Couldn't even attend yeah. the rest of the podcast. Unbelievable. I enjoyed... I think we had a, a spate of like two or three weeks earlier in the season where everybody was at a wedding. 
Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and it turned into, I think, a running joke that people were at weddings and getting married, and that's why they weren't attending. But just a bit annoying. Was not Energetics one of those drivers that said he was going to a wedding very early on in the season? Am I mistaking that for somebody else? I feel like it was. I think it might have been, but I'm sure it was probably the day or the same day of the stewards' results coming out and something not going his way. Ah, there you go. Um, <laughs> as as it usually is. Um, Wasn't it Caesar as well? I... If I remember I think right. So. There were multiple. There were a lot of weddings yeah, there at were the start multiple, of the season. Fair, yeah. <laughs> Everyone decided to get married at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Last thing I've got is it's not a a rant topic, but it's just how do we feel about four divisions next season? I'm all for it. If we can go lower than four, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. I, I was going to say, like, we're, we're still thinking of getting some new people in for Division Orgs, aren't we? Well, I mean, we know who one of them is. Well, we know, well, we know who the yeah, one we kn- is that we're probably yeah. getting in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I don't know if it'll be announced before or after this, or if we want to announce it now. It's entirely up to you, but I mean, uh, as for your original question, please, I will happily take you four divisions. If I mean, if we get five, fine, but... I just don't want it to be as bad of attendance as what we had this season. So I'd rather have very good attendance with four divisions that we know we're definitely going to turn up yeah. than five divisions that are half-hearted turning up. And I know COVID basically like made it so that it was a lot more difficult for us to have a, a good attendance on a Saturday. But again, it just goes back to that time management kind of thing. Like you signed up for it. And I think one hub, uh, what I've seen one hub put on uh, recently as well, I think it was perfect for it. They said, uh, like, because I know you have to pay to get into their league as well, but it's like when you sign up for a phone contract, you're sort of bound into that phone contract. You can't exactly, like, it, it's a bit unfair of the fact if you try and, like, leave it early or whatever. Again, I know with one hub you have to pay for it. With us, you, you, of course, you don't have to. But, yeah, I mean, if it means that we have a lot more attendance next season, I'm all for it. I think the key thing is that, yes, obviously we're not being paid. You're not paying to enter. It's a free thing. It's a fun game. It's a fun league. It's not fully serious. The thing is, though, is that us as orgs, we are putting a lot of time and effort to make sure everything's running smoothly. We've got graphics. We've got social medias running. We've got all the streams working and commentators for streams. We're trying to give you guys new content all the time and, and new different and different pieces of, of different league races and things. So GT7 and things like that. We've got FIFA and all this kind of stuff. We are taking a lot of our free time to try and do this for everybody and try and build this up for everybody and try and make it as good of a league as we possibly can. Off the skin of our own bats, um, we just want to see that same level of respect and dedication put in by the people attending as well because then it just becomes a case of, well, what is the point of us having to, to do this if we're just not going to be respected by the people that are signing up for the league? And that is just that is what I want people to take into the next season. I want people to take into the fact that there are a lot of people putting a lot of effort into this league f- for n- for no real return. So please just give us the, the effort that, that we're putting into it as well. Yeah, I definitely do agree. I think uh, four divisions should be a good idea. Generally, if it doesn't mean that attendance is going to be better, it's I don't see. It's, it's going to be much more enjoyable for us as well if we um, know for sure, or at least mostly for sure, that... Um, People are going to attend. That people are going to give the respect, as Aiden said, uh, that well we get for um, putting all this effort in. And if that is um, being replicated by them, that is making our job a lot more enjoyable as well. And we enjoy putting it together. Then that way, hundred <clears throat> um, percent. Well, we've reached the bottom of my list of things to talk about i don't know if you guys have got anything you want to talk about or if we want to wrap it up there i've not got anything else to add uh i have not um yeah i've got nothing else to add just other than thank god we've got a month off until the next game comes out (laughs) i was about to say i don't think you probably don't want me saying anything else so uh i will just (laughs) sort of start i'll stay in my own corner at the moment but um 
yeah, I mean, like like I just said, you know, I, I, I'm glad we have got a month off uh, to try and maybe get a couple more things sorted out for ourselves. Um, end of season awards, I know that's going to be coming up soon as well. Mm-hmm. So um, hopefully we get quite a few submissions for guys that are, you, you know, that are also still partaking in the league, uh, the ones that I haven't pissed off. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I do hope the next game, I because I, I know the, like the reason why things have been sort of like quite bad is because of how this game has been throughout the entire year. Um, I, I do just kind of hope with the next game it's a bit more, le- or a bit less buggy, shall I say, uh, and at least works uh, functions a bit better than what it did in this game. Because as I said, I know there's still loads of glitches within this F1 game anyway. So um, hopefully they do get resolved, and we say this every year. I highly doubt they will, but yeah, I, I just kind of hope it's a good game so that a lot more people are more enthusiastic to sign up and know that we will have a good base of people that will be in the league. Uh, that's what we want. That, that's literally all we are asking for. So yeah, but like I said, I'm glad I've just got a month off. And on that note, thank you very much. And bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh...